Good morning, everybody. It is finally happening. The day is finally here. I am finally, finally tackling my, what do you even call it? My home office and wardrobe room makeover. Do we call it a renovation? What constitutes a renovation? Can someone let me know? But yeah, the week from hell is finally here. I have so much anxiety around this week because there is a lot going on. So not only do we have the home office renovation makeover, whatever you want to call it, kind of going on this week, but also starting the prep for the wardrobe room. That will be much longer until it's finished. The office will be finished much sooner. So you'll probably see that this month. Whereas the wardrobe room, I don't think it's going to be completely finished until maybe about new year time. And the front garden is also being done this week. I don't think you'll see a lot of that, but mainly my home office and I'm so excited for it to be done. I'm repurposing like a lot of bits. There's some new bits that I've got. Which I think I'll show you some in this video, maybe some in my next. But yeah, the vibe has actually changed for it, mostly because I'm repurposing some pieces. I just didn't want to like waste certain items that I already had. So it's kind of gonna be a mix of old and new. But yeah, I'm so excited for it to be finished and to have a proper place to work. It's gonna feel so good. And even though it's like a little bit of a deviation on the original mood board, which you guys might have seen in a previous vlog, I am so excited to finally have the home office done and to have a space to work and be really organized because organization is getting harder and harder and harder when you don't have like the right storage and spaces so it's going to be a process but one that i am excited and anxious to start this week just because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done logistically so today step one is painting and this had to be done before the flooring is done next week so in a couple of days time this friday today by the way. So step one is painting, step two is flooring, and then step kind of three, I'm kind of doing it a little bit backwards. I think lots of my IKEA stuff I will probably build in time for the flooring to be finished rather than waiting until the flooring is finished to do that. Just in terms of time management, I feel like that's going to work well. But those are the kind of three stages is like walls, floors, furniture, and then the aftermath, which is the whole organization aspect, which of course I will bring you along for that journey. I'm not looking forward to that journey. So things are looking fairly like normal in here, but if I show you this morning, the prep happened for both the rooms. So everything has been moved out of them, which means the rest of my house looks like this. So this is my bedroom. Yeah, that is all of the stuff from my other rooms. Uh, my kitchen, my kitchen has dogs in it, but also looks like this this is an actual nightmare look at all the shoes and then this is the wardrobe room at the moment these are obviously going to be moved so that the painting can start i'm so excited for this room not to be gray it is so dark in here like it's a really rainy day today and it's basically like pitch black in this room me and my mum were just literally talking about the fact that this would just be an ideal stairwell if i were to go up. It gets more and more tempting every day because this room is so dark. But I think that is a long way off and in the meantime I just need to brighten up this room a little bit and I think changing the walls and the flooring will do that nicely. And these bookshelves are also going to be moved into the middle of the room but they're actually going to be moved into here. This room is so much nicer and brighter. This is going to be my home office. I'm going to back into the corner so you can kind of see. I've got a huge box of beauty products here which have been moved out of these drawers. I've got some little organization going on here. These are things that I want to move to my bathroom and I don't want them to get lost in the box of beauty doom. Look, look at how cute this tiny angel is. I just love it so much. This just needs like maybe one more coat of paint. I don't know if you can see up here. It just needs a little bit more. So I will hopefully have a chance to give this room one more coat of paint and then the flooring will also be redone. And yeah, I'm really excited to to get started with my plans for this room. It's gonna be such a nice bright space to work in. Like you can already see on camera, it's just so light and airy in here and I just absolutely love it. And especially when the front is redone as well, it's just gonna be a little bit tidier and I'll be able to see that from my office and it's just gonna be so nice. This is the room that I'm just so excited for. It's been a long time since I've had a home office. I actually didn't have one in my last flat that I lived in because I was working so remotely that like the way my job had changed meant that I didn't really need a home office so much. Only towards the end was when I started to need one. And actually now the way I work, it's essential because I am home obviously so much more. I'm just, I'm just so excited for this. The little pitter patter of multiple dog feet is so distracting. I'm so used to just Nala. Yeah. That is it. I'm so excited. I am going to get on with the painting now and I'll check in with you in a little bit.
So guys, you know how some of you are like, you know, we love all your vlogs. I can literally watch you watch paint dry. Well, first vlog back and I think we can safely say that's essentially what you're doing. And how many of you now regret saying, I'll watch anything you post? Leave me a comment if you're one of those people. Are you actually talking to the camera? I am actually talking to the camera. This is just bizarre. My mum's not used to actually being in the room when I vlog. She just watches the vlogs. Also, for those of you that are slightly concerned that I'm doing this wrong, I am well aware. My mum has told me off about 500 times so far. We've actually been painting for quite a while. I'm on the third wall of the room. And uh, I'm kind of just doing it to annoy her now. Although she keeps reminding me that she doesn't live here and that I'm going to have to be the one that looks this mess. a long day but oh my god I have so much paint on me look at me I've done the other room this is my wardrobe room that I'm in at the moment and it is looking good it is looking so good you will see I haven't been able to do it yet because I need Ryan's help to move these bookcases into the other room once it's dry because that's where they're gonna go so yeah you can see the color that it was and the color that it is now it's doing very well like I expected things to be looking a little worse right now but we'll see how it is in the morning and how it has dried. Tomorrow is a really fun day. I'm gonna be up getting up stupidly early, but it's a really fun day because it is IKEA delivery day. I can't wait. There's a monumental amount of filing that needs to happen as well once all of this IKEA stuff arrives. It's gonna be so good. Ikea order is now here. Have coffee. I'm so needed. This is so needed this morning. I also have a face mask on because my skin is dry. So dry. I'm not sure if it's the time of year, the heating, the painting, but this is what I'm using. I love this mask so much. It's so great. They also do a moisturizer version of it, but it's so like hydrating on my skin. It is great. It says it's a sleeping mask, but you know, I'm just rolling with this this morning and I will wash it off in a bit and do my normal skincare routine. I have a new helper here this morning. <laughs> Loving life. You did a good job there. That's a good coat. Thanks. You've got another helper. So I have a chocolate and strawberry smoothie. Basically it has like so much in it. It's got banana, strawberries, like frozen strawberries, so it's really cold. Kale, spinach, a little bit of chocolate peanut butter as well. A mix of chocolate and vanilla protein powder because it's just like the best taste. Porridge, oats, pumpkin seeds. Oh, and almond milk, of course. So yeah, it's super, super yummy. Chocolate and cherry is my favorite though. Get frozen cherries, swap it out for the strawberries. It is so good. But yeah, we've been doing a little bit of Ikea ring. Got these sorted and we also have my desk chair sorted. I picked up this one nice and easy and I have the Hermes desk as well but we're not gonna put that up yet just in case the walls get bashed when it's being moved out to have the flooring done. Brian's put an extra coat on the walls in here. I can't really show the whole wall because my camera just goes out of focus because it just can't decide what it's seeing. It's just seeing a lot of white but the paint is going on better than I expected so hopefully we'll be done in about an hour or so. Things have taken a real turn for the weird. <laughs> She's not having that. She'll let you put anything on her back. That hat is a toy apparently. <laughs> you are so cute. She knows she's cute. Look at that tail. She's like, yeah. oh yes, I love being fussed over. I'll wear a pumpkin if it means I can be fussed over. You're so good. <laughs> you are so cute. Okay, so we have a finished 
wardrobe room the camera's eyes are like my eyes right now still here i promise i've had a bath put a little bit of makeup on not a lot just literally done my eyebrows my lashes and then a little bit of lip liner and i'm leaving my skin because it's so like you can see here it's red and angry from the beating that it's just taken this week in terms of like the weather has really shifted and yeah it's just not been great just shutting up shop in the house i've been having to like air it which really hasn't helped my skin it's been so cold but then when it's not been cold we had the heating on so it's just my skin is like <laughs> meanwhile diy right has been hard at work do you want to show them your masterpiece painter whatever this is called uh. curtain putter rubber yeah <laughs> it looks so much better like it's really i think it's really helped to elongate the wall i don't know some people might hate it but these are like sheer kind of linen curtains so i'll be able to shut them if i want to and just like have the light kind of still coming through but it's like a little bit of privacy but just like a really nice feel for the office i'm gonna have shelving here and then i've got my desk that's gonna be here with my little chair these drawers and cupboards i'm gonna be switching out because i really hate them they are chunky and not the best in terms of storage because they're just they're really bulky on the inside so i'm gonna swap these out for some ikea malm dresses i believe very excited for phase two and we're gonna have some dinner get a takeaway now mm -hmm. on me thanks mm -hmm. for helping we're all packed and ready to go aren't we nala do you like this coat i really like it you're so cute look at the hood she's like i don't like leaving the house where are we going i'd rather be a pumpkin my camera has sadly reached the six month mark where it just doesn't want to focus anymore so that's good beautiful now you got two halloween pumpkins oh i'm so lucky oh my god good morning everybody it is sunday really think about that one my brain my brain clearly the coffee hasn't kicked in yet we are just on our way to my house we stayed at ryan's last night all that light and i need to go to my house because i had a call from my amazon delivery driver this morning and he was like yeah hi i'm outside can you let me not can you let me in <laughs> can you come get your parcels and i was like i'm not there and he was like well i'll put them down like here but there's already like a ton of parcels like a pile and i was like looked out the window i'm like it's raining like great everything that's arrived from my office has arrived a day early which is lovely but it's now like sitting in the rain which is not ideal hence my little makeup less face i feel like this week you're probably gonna see me with no makeup a lot because i tried to make an effort for you guys in the start of this vlog and honestly i can't be bothered also my skin is looking pretty good at the moment one spot and it's going away so wait what are you no that's a scar anyway so yeah that is what we are up to at the moment and then i'm not really sure what we're doing with the rest of our day ryan's been sat trying to decide whether he's putting some shelving up for about a bajillion years now <laughs> yeah, it's been ongoing thing. yeah we're just trying to think of some ways to cheer ourselves up because we're going into lockdown the end of this coming week yeah not ideal but selfishly for sears my flooring can be finished off before we go into lockdown so it's literally the only silver lining and uh I'm just trying to look on the bright side of life. <laughs> What's that? Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> do you not know that song? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I just think I couldn't place the whistling you were doing. Oh my god. We also just watched the draft edit of our boyfriend does my Zara haul this morning, which has made me really happy. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that because that will be live by now so yeah that is my what i'm doing today we're going to get my car from ryan's sort out my packages pray that nothing for my office is techy and soaked through because i will be so sad I, there is actually one techy item um and i'm hoping that it's okay and then i'm gonna go home put a jumper on nala and probably play some sims yeah oh my gosh you guys just got to mine there were so many packages so many and one of them has definitely been there for about a week i think it might have been something that someone has sent to me so i didn't know i was expecting it i didn't get like a delivery like notification to my phone let's hope that what is in it is okay but i really want to show you the curtains that i put up in my office obviously i showed you them last night but the room looks so nice like the sun is coming through and i've just pulled them so obviously you can't see out of them but it looks so nice so this is how it is looking it looks so bright 
so airy oh i'm so happy with it i also have all of these magazine holders to go on my shelves that are going to go into the office i thought these would be a nice way to disguise all of the like i have a lot of magazines that i've been in and stuff like that which i don't want to get rid of i also don't want to just throw in the loft so i thought this would be a nice way to disguise them and just make everything look quite orderly and uniform and not look like super super crazy and then i've got some storage boxes which i think are potentially going to be just stacked in the corner of the room that will be like a system for like new in products i need to give my attention to because right now it all gets thrown in the drawer and i don't look at it because the drawer is crazy and i can't deal with it so maybe like a drawer for like new in things that i want to give my attention to things to like donate and give away that kind of vibe more magazine racks <laughs> i just went nuts and got quite a few of them because i thought these would be quite good for like hiding files and stuff as well like actual like folders of stuff my filing box is just like it is bursting at the seams so i need a new system i've also ordered a lot of ring binders as well my wardrobe room is also looking really good so happy with how it's all come out i thought i was gonna have to do another coat of paint but actually I think we are all good and that is amazing. So I think the plan of action is tomorrow. The carpets are stripped up in this room and my office and the floor is like being latex. I have like LVT going in. I've done a highlight on my home account profile. If anyone has any questions on my flooring, I'm gonna be having the same flooring that I have here run through the whole, I think apart from the kitchen, the kitchen, I will probably have the flooring redone if I do the kitchen. I'm sitting on that and obviously budget permitting, I did this half of the house first literally like from the hallway to one half of the house first and did all of the LVT and now I'm doing this side because so it was just going to be a very big expense to do it all at one time so after this it will be my porch and eventually the kitchen I don't know what I want to do with the porch I'd love to tile it like a really fun tile like a Mediterranean tile that'd be really cute but yeah I'm excited and feeling very grateful at the timing of this i don't know if tradesmen i haven't seen like the official like the rules i'm not sure if trades people can still work part of me hopes they can because i still have a few things that i had booked in literally for friday and then to be carried out in like december time and i'm hoping those will still be able to go ahead but i'm not sure whether my like quoting appointments are going to be allowed so but i feel very very lucky to be in the situation where i'm literally booked in monday tuesday wednesday and then we're back in lockdown also very lucky for ryan's house and the fact that he's letting me stay there because yeah my stuff is everywhere so i can't wait for these rooms to be done it's going to be great and i can live an organized bright airy life once again also tomato update whilst i'm home i'm waiting for my friend to pick up something look at the size of this bad boy these need to ripen up before it gets too cold also look at my kale <laughs> I love it. I love kale so much, but this is making me so happy. And also my lettuce is just ridiculous now. I just don't know when it counts as being done. Like, how do you know when a lettuce is done? Can someone let me know? Hello, welcome to my office. So, speaking of the ring binders that I bought, they have actually just arrived, so I thought I would show you them. This is what was in my many Amazon parcels that I had to come home and collect. So these ring binders, I think are called like the Soho Rosler ring binders something like that they do these in a tan as well which i loved and i just couldn't decide between the black or the tan but i went for the black because i thought it just might look a bit more pulled together and obviously the curtain rail is like black the chair has black accents on it so i just thought it would work slightly better and i will introduce little elements of like wood and other textures into the room which will probably help to give it like some different tones but i thought just for the ring binders i'd go with the classic black because the magazine files are white and that would just work really nicely together i didn't know if the tan ones would look tan or just a little bit like brown papery and i didn't want it to look like too cheap so even though i'm definitely doing this room has definitely been done on a budget the only thing i've really like spent money on for this room has been the flooring it's actually coming in at under budget so far i believe i think so far i'm about 100 pounds under budget for what i did for my mood board i can't remember if i will link the vlog where i showed you my original mood board because obviously i've saved money a lot of money on like the shelving and stuff like that but i've definitely spent more on like some other little bits now but the desk was also more but i think i'm still coming in 100 pounds under budget which i'm really happy with so basically just leaves more money to spend on accessories and that's really fun because it means that i can like 
just do a little bit more than I originally thought that I was going to be able to do. Even like the lighting, I'm not spending as much money on the lighting. So I think it might actually be more than £100. I need to double check my maths, but my IKEA order alone, I know was £100 less than I budgeted for. Yeah, I'm really happy with everything. I actually have decided I was going to do an IKEA Mound dresser here. I might still, but I actually think in the meantime, I will keep one of these. I don't like the both of these West Elm units because they're not the same height. It doesn't work. And I would actually love to put a chair here in the corner of the room so that you could have like one person at the desk, then one person that just comes in and annoys the other. If Lauren's watching, she will, <laughs> she'll relate to that. It would basically be me coming in, sitting in the chair and annoying her, or me sitting at the desk and Ryan coming in and annoying me, you know? But I think a chair would just look lovely in this area. So yeah, kind of mulling that over, but obviously it means I'm not spending extra money on like a unit here. So that's good. Just really happy with how this room is coming along and it's been so far so stress-free and minimal effort. And I think it's gonna look even better than I originally thought. And I'm so happy with that. I'm actually really glad that I'm going for the white bookcases and not the originals that were in my mood board. But yeah, I picked up quite a few of these, I believe. I think I got three, maybe more. Oh no, I got more. Yeah, no, I got four. Which is great because basically, like I said, my filing box for all of my like important documents that you have to hold on to in the UK. Like, I don't know if it's the same everywhere else, but in the UK you have to hold on to like important documents for quite a long time. And because I run a business, I actually think it is longer and there's even more stuff to hold on to. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm excited to file things. What has happened to me? I'm not the same girl that 2020 like starting out with and I don't know how I feel about that. Then have a ton of clear plastic wallets, very boring but essential. Have a cute little extension lead. I liked this, it was cuter than all of the others and I don't know, I rate that and it's also got the little USBs on it. So yeah, this is my very boring office haul but I feel like if some of you are like trying to do a home office at the moment because of lockdown, it's essential. Oh, amazing and then we've got the laptop stand. This is more for Lauren than for me, but I know that she likes to have her laptop higher up. I don't actually spend as much time on my laptop as I used to because I obviously don't edit so much anymore and I try and be as like screen free as I can. Obviously I spend my whole day like talking to a camera and looking at this little screen. Because of that I try not to be like on my phone so much and try not to be on my laptop when I don't need to be. Yeah, and that is gonna need some putting together. I'll put a picture of what it is meant to look like on the screen. I really like this one. I've been eyeing it up for a long time and literally talking for months and months and months about how excited I am for the office so that Lauren can have her little laptop stand. This is just following me around. This is the hemming strips for the curtains in here. For everyone that is like losing their minds at the fact that my curtains look very long at the moment, I'm gonna take them up and it's all gonna be great. The creases are actually dropping out of them really nicely, but I'm gonna give them a little steam as well. I also have this kit which so many of you recommended on instagram for my broken vase thank you to everyone that recommended this kit i'm gonna repair my little vase with it i think today i'm so excited it basically has like gold glue essentially i'm not a pro at this i've just this is just what i've heard the glue like dries gold or the glue is gold so it kind of makes a feature out of your broken vase and my vase is the type of color that would look very good with that so i'm very excited for that okay kids it's time to repair my poor broken vase i'm so excited for this well that worked out quite nicely didn't it hmm. good morning everybody it is the first day no no it's Monday in my head it's already Thursday this morning I'm waiting for the boys to arrive and they're gonna come and start on the flooring start on the front of the house I'm very very excited it just feels good to be getting it all like done and sorted I've been waiting to have this done for so long so yeah I've literally just popped home I went to Ryan's last night my camera battery ended up dying and I needed to recharge them but you didn't really miss much we basically just went for dinner at Ryan's mum's we're basically doing all of the parental visits before we can't see everyone for a month because basically the mums are freaking out so yeah we had a roast we're having another roast tonight my mum is actually doing Christmas dinner because she's that panicked let's not talk about that Christmas is obviously happening but yeah I'm very excited for some more roast potatoes I'm not even gonna complain about it love roast dinner but yeah that was mostly what happened last night it was all just a bit of a rush when i was trying to like fix my bars get all my stuff back I ended up taking another suitcase of stuff to ryan's because i just don't travel light especially if i like need to work i did think about taking just like a few days off so i could sit at his in literally like leggings and a jumper like for three days and just look like a toad i'm just not sure so i decided to take quite a few bits with me so yeah it's kind of rushing and trying to get all that sorted but it's all 
good. This morning, I'm gonna go meet Lauren and we're going to sort out the Zara boyfriend haul video because I need to make some last amends to it. And we're gonna go give one of our favorite restaurants some of our money whilst we're at it because that's important. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit because I quite like my outfit today. Ignore my lovely Ikea bits and pieces. You are getting like the real deal here. I am wearing a Zara roll neck and skirt this skirt is kind of like a croc effect i really like it and then i've got my zara boots on as well and then my coat my coat is a little bit snazzy this is my coat what do we think i'm not 100 percent but i thought i'd give it a go because i have a lot of like very plain coats and i saw this one on asos and i really really loved it so let me know what you think i think it would look really cute with like a matching skirt underneath my friend lorna is actually bringing out like a matching coat and skirt set i feel like it's gonna sell out so i picked this one up just in case and i think the length on this is really good on me i think the one from in the style is going to come down a little bit further and i think this makes me look like a bit more of a tall human being because my coat isn't like reaching the floor you know i thought it would look quite cute with like a monochrome outfit going on underneath and then like a little bit of leg popping out because i'm still holding on to autumn yeah what do we think do you love it do you hate it i feel like it's a very like marmite product for my bag i'm going with my little white givenchy and i really like this outfit as well because it's one of the few outfits where my glasses this lighting is awful so i don't look great it's one of the few outfits where my glasses kind of look normal ish like especially with this outfit underneath i just think my glasses actually look like cute and like part of the outfit whereas my glasses normally just make me look like harry potter the other day i was wearing a check shirt for painting and i had my hair like fully scraped back no makeup on and then these glasses and i was like i actually I look like Harry Potter in like movie number one where, I think it's movie number one. I don't know, I feel like he's always in a plaid shirt. Maybe it's number three where he packs his suitcase and runs away. I look like that, yeah, it's not cute. never not blow my mind. I just thought everyone should know. <laughs> Matching collar for Nala. How cute is this? You look so cute! Next stop, Crocs. You ready to go to the vet? Literally, I went in for dog food and I came out with a new lead, a matching collar that matches my coat and vegan shorts for Ryan. So it's a little bit later, me and Nala are just about to pop to the vets and I thought I would show you what the in-between, it's so echoey in here. I thought I would show you what the in-between stage of the flooring being done looks like. So they put this like stuff on the floor. I don't know what it is. They call it, the guys call it screeching. I don't know what that means. But it basically is the like foundation layer before this flooring goes down. And it's basically like you apply, I believe you apply heat to it. So it's like super, super sturdy. And then if you damage a little bit, you can just peel one strip back up, like you heat it, peel it back up and you can replace it. So it's really easy to like replace. And it's actually impossible to uh, damage because 
I've tried. I've jumped on a lot of chairs for reels and there's still no scratches. But yeah, that is how the floor is looking in here. But we need to go to the vets now, so we're gonna bust a move. What are we doing? <laughs> 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 we're waiting to be told they can stop. Yes! <laughs> yeah. You always used to do that. Oh, no, you were allowed to have one <laughs> present. Yeah, before you got up. Look at that huge computer in the background. The extension started really early. <laughs> The only dog I was allowed was a robot. <laughs> <laughs> He's so pleased with that joke. <laughs> hair extensions, the early days. Swapping the red hair out for the purple. You probably got one of your combs that lasted How many shots of coffee is in there? 15. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two double shots of coffee. You're gonna have anxiety. Turbo blaster. The light in Martin's house is so pretty in the morning. I don't get this. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming at you from the B&Q car park. <laughs> What's this finger? <laughs> Keeping it classy. My eyes are watering because <laughs> it's so bright. It's such a gorgeous day, but the light is like blinding me. So Ryan is just returning some blinds that he bought yesterday and they're not quite right, which is a little bit annoying, but we have decided to come out, do the returns, get a coffee. The UK goes into like a lockdown tomorrow. Not as bad as it was the first time around where you could only exercise for like an hour and you couldn't see anyone outside and you, yeah, there's, it's, it's slightly slightly lighter which i'm very thankful for because it means i can still like go for a walk with a friend and you're allowed like a social bubble a single parent social bubble like single household social bubble which is great so yeah we are going for a coffee ryan does this thing where he buys like a vinyl once a month and he wants to pick up his november vinyl in person which i think is cute i didn't vlog much yesterday i was going to show you like the progress updates on the house but not a lot have really changed the, some of the flooring has gone down but not the whole thing and actually i'm not going show you the flooring until it's completely down so i'm gonna save that for the next vlog i went for dinner with the girls felt a little bit better and slept the entire night which has not happened in such a long time so i'm feeling really good today we're gonna go have our well i'm gonna have my last starbucks for a month and i'm so excited about it it's gonna be great you guys i'm in the house I'm looking at my office. It looks so nice. I'm so excited to start the next vlog and style this and have my office. Honestly, it all looks a hundred times better. I'm so, so happy. I've got so, there's so many boxes behind me that I need to sort out. I'm gonna go through all of this with you in my next vlog. I'm gonna end this vlog here, I think, because it's been the strangest week. Like when I started this vlog, it, there was no impending lockdown that like I really thought it'd be like more end of November. So it's definitely been like an unexpected week. I've been trying to process that and like sort all of the house stuff. There was a moment where I was like on Saturday, obviously just like, am I gonna be able to sort my house stuff before this all kind of like kicks off. So yeah, it's just been a bit of a week. It's been fine, but I've been mentally processing a lot of stuff as a lot of us have. And it's a week that I'd like to kind of put to bed. So I'm gonna end this vlog here and we will start fresh. I feel like it's gonna be really weird as well because this vlog is gonna be going up like your first week of lockdown or maybe your second. It will look like I'm out the house, I'm not. But yeah, it's definitely been a very weird all over the place week. So sorry about that. If it's felt like that when it comes to like, it might be edited and be lovely and fingers crossed. But yeah, it has been a very weird week. So we're gonna end this vlog here and start again tomorrow. I feel like my glasses are making my eyes go funny. That's better, I can't see myself. Great. I'm so excited to get that all ready. Oh, I just can't. Also really excited to have my house back because I just really wanted to have a shower in my own shower. So yeah, I'm gonna shower, wash my hair, tan, 
have a whole afternoon of it and I'll be back with you tomorrow. We're gonna start putting my house back together. <laughs> that is it for me today. I hope you're all doing really, really well and you're all looking after yourselves, staying safe, looking after your mental health, be kind to yourself over the next month. I mean, just wherever you are in the world, be kind to yourself anyway. It's been a really weird year. It's also election day today. And as of right now, it's one o'clock in the UK. It's not election day, it's like results day. And I don't know how it's gone down. So still waiting. Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. And I will see you guys again in my next vlog. Love you, bye.